Okay, hello, no? So, uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, okay, uh, good day pala. Okay, so, sorry. Okay, so today, uh, iraran lang natin yung mga uh, na, the, the topics that uh, we discussed uh, in my previous video. Uh, videos pala. So, let's have first the animals that uh, live on land so we have learned that uh, first of all no a land adaptation no adaptation no for all the animals that live on on land that they have to adapt no so ang pag ang adaptation it is a way of adapting uh, the environment uh, where uh, where they need to adapt for uh, for them to survive no for an animal to survive so we have also that uh, two kinds of uh, adaptation no? we have the structural adaptation and behavioral uh, adaptation also no? uh, structural adaptation no uh, where animals use uh, their physical features or body parts no in that will help uh, animals to get uh, food or uh, uh, for them to to have food and then behavioral behavioral uh, those are th those things are are will also help them to survive no in behavior manner so so okay so my physical features so i will not uh uh detail i delete na ko iran ang detail because uh, you could also you uh, watch the previous video so Na no? So, muna sa mga kwan, sa mga animals, they have a long pointed teeth, no? Nga, kung asa, ito mga tigers. Um, tiger, no, for example, no? Nga, muna ginagamit nila in uh, pag-tear nila sa ilahang uh, prey. No? So, we have also animals that have sharp beak and talons, and uh, animals that have long arms and legs, no? And then, uh, proboscis, no? And then, uh, we... And then uh, animals that have body cave, uh, covering that will also uh, help no animals to escape from their uh, predators. So it means predators, uh, katong mga mas dagko pa na mga animals. No, for example, um, for example, no ang ang iguana or ang kamelyo. No, so napay mas dagko sa ilaha, mas kaya pa sila kaunon ato, kaya sa pedino to moto ilang predators. But still, no. Uh, they can survive no using their uh, body covering using their uh, using their uh, ability okay so behavioral no adaptations of of land animals so naiuban mag camouflage okay for them not to uh, dili sila ma capture sila ang kalaban or dili sila ma capture sila ang mga predators then we have also mga elephants where uh, where uh, the the walk no together no so kada mga elephants no kung asa nag-uban gyud sila tanan uh, for them no nga ma-protect nila ang matag usa no kung travel sila uh, mag-uban na sila okay, also animals that have the running speed no kung asa makatabang na sila in hunting their prey and and in escaping from their uh, predators okay so uh, let's Let's have this uh, uh, question and answer. No, a way of adjusting to the natural environment or habitat in order to survive. A adaptation. B camouflage. C speed. D uh, color changing. So, uh, tawag na to na uh, adaptation. No. So, what body stru structure do tigers have that allow them to tear apart the animal that they attack? So they have the long pointed. No, kung asa ginagamit na to tear apart animal that they uh, attack. Okay, so what do you call animals that live on land? So, ginatawag na to na sila terrestrial uh, animals. No? You saw on TV that elephants are walking as a large group as they pass the grassland. How can you explain this kind of behavior among animals? So, the answer is elephants travel together to protect one another. Okay. How can a grasshopper protect and escape from its predator? So, using the ability to camouflage. So, if you uh, see a grasshopper, no, so green yung, yung color. Sometimes, if sometimes pag mato na sila sa grasses, no, so dili kaya ni mo sila ma ma notice, dili ni mo sila ma ma ma, ma observe, no, kay ah uh, camouflage sila yah. Okay, these are physical features or body parts that help animals in food eating and for. Uh, protection so ang ilang mga structural uh, adaptations no so where 
animals, katong mga structural adaptations, uh, magamit nila sa sa paghan, no? Uh, sa pag uh, sa pag escape sa ilang mga predators. Okay, what what body structures do cows and goat have which allow them to munch on the grass, other other plant parts? So the flat feet, no, because of their flat feet, kaya nila imunch mga uh, grass and other plant parts, no, because there are other plant parts nga gahi, no, but sa ilaha naliira nila na mausap. Which animal will not survive on the land? Of course, no, the fish. No, dili gina sa mag-survive gina sa land. Okay, ang fish, it is an aquatic animal. Okay, it, is it important for an animal to adapt in the environment? Yes, no, for survival. So, ginahangla nila mo adapt sa environment for them to live, to survive. No, labi na kang nasa, uh, nasa wild, no, ng mga animals. No, ginahangla nila mo adapt yun, no, labi na nga, uh, they have to, they have to work. No, para sa ilang pagkaon, no? Where uh, napuliha ang competition o grabe po ng competition sa mga animals sa wild. So that's why they have to use, no? They have to adapt. The other animals copy the shape, sound, uh, smell, taste, or color of other animals or uh, objects. This is to pretend that they are stronger or poisonous, which could prevent other animals from eating them. No, this behavior is known as the mimicry, no? Para, para po na ma-intimidate nila ang ilahang mga predator po, no? Intimidate nila ang other animals. Okay, so now let's move on to the animals that live on water. So, kanyang mga animals that live on water, they are called uh, aquatic or marine animals. Then, also, they have structural adaptations, no? Kanyang mga aquatic animals, they have uh, structural adaptations adaptation no sabi na sa mga dagat no for example gills no ang gills uh, enable oxygen uh, the gills enable oxygen from water to enter the animals uh, bloodstream so diha mo nang ginagamit sa mga sa mga uh, sa mga aquatic animal some aquatic animals no and then also filter feeding na uh, ang other food animals they have the um, <coughs> They have uh, other features, other physical uh, structures nga, nga makatabang sa ilaha sa pag-escape uh, no, sa ilahang mga kalaban. Okay? So, next sayo, no? So, okay, so na po yung uh, other animals nga na-streamline, no? For for them na mas um, uh, mas pas-pas, no? So, uh, cut, ang cut nila uh, pas-pas, no? Para makakuha o kanang makakuha o uh, makakat sa ilahang uh, prey. Then a uh, blue holes, no, for some animals uh, like a uh, whales and dolphin and dolphins, no. And then skills, no. So other uh, animals they have skills. Okay. So one po no, na po behavioral adaptations of some aquatic uh, animals, no. For example, the squid, uh, cuttlefish, and octopus can squirt ink to distract the enemy. Their soft body cover has a color-changing capacity that acts as a camouflage. So those are the behavioral adaptations of some uh, aquatic animals. So let's have a question and answer. Okay, how do most aquatic animals get oxygen from the air? Through their gills. No? So why do some aquatic animals need uh, blue holes to survive? It allows them to get oxygen from the air. Okay, why does a streamlined body shape help sharks hunt for food? It allows them to move fast. Fish have a fish have blank that are overlapping, covered with a slimy substance that protect them from diseases and help them move smoothly in water. So, uh, scales, no? So, uh, scales, no? A fish have scales that scales that are overlapping, covered with a slimy substance that protect them from from diseases and help them. Moves smoothly in water. The shrimps and lobsters have blank a hard cover that protects their soft bone, boneless bodies but still allows them to move. So they have the ex exoskeleton. Okay, aquatic animals are also known as marine animals. So true. Most fish are covered with scales which helps regulate their body temperature. Uh, that's true. 
Okay, aquatic animals may live in fresh water or salt water. That is true. Fish have scales that are overlapping, covered with a slimy substance that protect them from diseases and help them move smoothly in water. That is true. You know, most aquatic animals get oxygen they need directly from water using a, a special body part called uh, gills. So the answer is true. So let's move on to the uh, terrestrial plants. So mono siyang last atong na topic, no terrestrial plants. No? So plants that live on the land are called terrestrial. No tanan nga mga, mga plants uh, nga nagpuyo dari a or nturok dari a sa, sa land, no? Those are called uh, terrestrial plants. Okay, then they need a soil on land no contains of nutrients need to survive. So kana mga plants, uh, all kinds uh, tanan, tanan nga plants nga nituruk tori sa yuta kinahanglan nila og nutrients from the soil okay so future of terrestrial plants so nasa like trunk uh, other na na po uh, soft, ste soft stems or a uh, big trunk no so uh, ang details nila ni nasa uh, uh, video uh, the last video nga ang title at terrestrial plants no part 1 and part 2 then trees Trees are tall plants with a large woody woody stem called trunk, no, with secondary branches. No, then as a bark, a protective layer found in the trunk. Okay, so, so most trees are found in the forest. So there are a lot of uh, a lot of uh, trees, no, uh, found in the forest and mountains. So na the mga shrub. Uh, we have the we have the herbs, no? Herbs are non-woody plants and are usually cultured for food and medicine. Nowhere, uh, herbs is very, uh, is, uh, it is very suitable, no, to plant a herb, no? Labi na ganaka sa mga small area, for example, like, uh, you are, you are, uh, you're living, you're living in an apartment, so mas prepared siya ng itanom ang herbs, no? Kaya pwede man sa itanom sa mga pat. Okay, so vines, no, kini mga vines that were on solid surface are called vines. So, kinahanglan nila og mga solid surface para ilang katayan. Okay, so the grasses, no, grasses are also non-woody plants and have hollow stems enclosed in the lower part of the leaf. Okay, so almost all terrestrial uh, habitats, no, so grasses differ in height based on the length of its leaves, no, na mga buffalo grass, carabao grass, wet grass, and cogon grass are some examples. So, daghani siya makita na to. Okay, so pilot plants. So, maunin siya itong mga cactus. Example. May example na na, mga cactus. Okay, so plants in the desert have modified no, their leaves into spines. So, uh, kidding mga cactus, no, they have the spines where uh, nasa mga tonok, no, if you have, uh, if nakakita na mga cactus. Okay. So, mangroves, no, so very familiar for us, no, mangroves in swampy area within the coastline. So, mangroves are specialized terrestrial plants that live in swampy areas, no, in the coastline. So, and then uh, common habitats of terrestrial plants, no mountains, no, where uh, mountains no, provide good condition for terrestrial plants to grow, no, so some uh, mountains, uh, grasslands, also uh, grasslands, it is also a good uh, habitat for uh, terrestrial plants, and we have the wheatlands, and in the desert, so, Kanasia, okay, point. so let's have now a um, question and answer, no, so, a habitat characterized by by scarce presence of water due to lethal precipitation. Most plants in this type of habitat store a lot of water in the body parts. So, ang tawag ana nga habitat ang deserto, no? So, uh, deserto, grabe ka init and then a lethal precipitation. So, ang, ang kasagaran mabuhi diri kato mga uh, cactus. These are non-woody plants and are usually cultured for food and medicine use. They are smaller compared to trees and shrubs. So it does not occupy too much space. So, ang herbs, no, labi na ko magpuyo sa gamay, gamay ng area. 
uh, for example, apartment. So this very, uh, cannot say very uh, suitable um, herbs. Tall plants with a large woody stem called trunk with secondary branches. So we have the trees. These are specialized terrestrial plants that live in swampy areas in coastlines with marshy or sticky soil. So tawag na to, ano niya, mangroves, no? The plain regions where vegetation is predominantly covered with grasses, so na dehang hint, no? Uh, covered with grasses, so grasslands. Okay, common examples of this type of habitat are terrestrial plants, are mar marshes, ponds, uh, surroundings of, of a lake or a river, and, and floodplains that are low-lying areas that are frequently flooded with water. Itawag na to na niya, uh, with land. Okay, they produce food and store water in their stems, which make it freshly. So, yung mga succulent plants. Okay, your family lives in a small apartment and your mother wants to grow plants in your place. So, what type of plant uh, should you recommend? So, um, okay, diha, uh, among the choices, so ang herb ang pinaka-suitable na muna itanong no? labi nag naka sa uh, naka, nakapuyo sa apartment. Okay, kay dili man pud pwede na magtanom ka og mga punuan diha, mga trees. Okay, dili pud pwede uh, shrub, no? Vine, dili pud pwede, dili man ani mo pwede pakatay ka tayo diha sa ano, makasabban sa uh, owner. Okay? Which among the following plant is a vine? So, yung labash, no? O opo. Okay, plants that live on land are called blank or land plants, so tawag na to na nat terrestrial plant. Okay, so so that's the end of this uh topic no that's the end of this uh video so thank you